So Lizero, I guess, would be next. May you be nourished by the earth, LJ Green Tigers. Why is it that you stand before me? Could it be you have a mind for learning? Ah, very good. First, I will tell you that the staff I carry is of great power and has within it the very living poison that courses through my father's veins. Finish the green blood. It is called Tashir, Staff of Creation, a gift bestowed upon me and only me. Should you wrong me or my father, you will feel its deathly touch and learn the way of the green dragon in a way your worst nightmares won't prepare you for. Are you true to me? Do not lie or you will regret it. Tisha calls you true. Let's begin then. Vanish is the green, the creation lord. He commands the power of nature both within his body and mind. A power that can give life and destroy it. As all things in nature do, you must understand fully that for the strong to survive, the weak must always die. This occurs all about us through you may not see it. Even here, as a tree goes taller, it must stretch its branches and roots to gain more strength, choking the life from the weaker around it. Do you see? Good then, now draw closer so I may fully instruct you in the ways of creation. Be my lord vanished teachings. Once you have proven yourself, you will then begin a life journey we call the Kaiola. This means you will become closer to nature as you grow in age, until the ultimate joining with nature when you perish and join it fully, called Upashu. Then you may grow from the earth as that which you represent in your mortal life. So you must take care of the paths you take in this life, lest you return after Upashu as a weak root. Understand? Very well, to begin Kaioa, you must do several things that guide you through the beauty and terror of nature and how they are forever intertwined by design. First, seek out a plant of great beauty and simplicity with a poisonous nettle that grows throughout the canyons outside the city. Recover a broad leaf that has fallen from a tree in the dragon's grove. Then you must scour the city's inns and resting areas for a shed dragon scale. You should perhaps know why you must find these things, yes? I already have the dragon scale! Oh. Examine the poisonous nettle. Should you find it, it is simple demonstration that, much like me and my brethren, illustrates beauty and fierceness. Vanish is the very same. Outwardly beautiful and even more terrifying through that which you don't see. His great poison breath. A broad leaf that has fallen from a grove tree must be looked at closely. While its exterior is very simple, closer inspection will show you a world within where countless veins feed and strengthen the leaf. A stem keeps it steady. Many things in our world are never as simple as they may seem at first glance. That knowledge will keep you safe. The dragon scale, our scales are gifted, are a gift to protect us as we mature from human to dragon. Each creature is born with a gift of some kind, each special. All right, Shh. dragon scale, broadleaf, and a poisonous nettle. I already have the dragon scale. I just have to go to get it from my bank. I didn't realize it was an objective. needed oh I was so close guys Ugh. what the heck are reagents all right draken scale so I need to go to the bank Fine. I'm 
and scale. So it's almost like I have to go delete the one I found and then go everyone because I'm gonna destroy that one. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Well, how do I think I destroyed it then? I guess I have it. So dragons. Then, so I'm looking for a round rock cave. say I got it okay so that if that's the case then all right poisonous dental from the plants that grow inside the caverns of the mushroom grove in the hollow outside the city lovely so I go to see if I can I do hope that you have learned the ways of the Lord of the Creator. As much as nature gives life, it must also take away. And so you'll be the way of us all. You are now granted permission to speak to Venice. Satisfied you have learned these lessons, you may engage in a verbal discourse with him. Oh. Alright, Ithakis. Your turn. What is it you want, LJ Green Tigers? As the firstborn of Athas and a member of the council, I have much responsibility. I have no time for trivial manners. Matters. That is Lord Athas to you, weakling. How dare you use such a familiar tone? He would send your hide if he caught wind of your arrogant error. You're quite lucky that I don't do it myself. I think I would relish practicing the Lord's true arts upon you. He's a nice one. Why, the arts of war and the destructive power of fire, of course. I sense you may have an interest in these arts, or perhaps it is merely my expectation that you should. In either case, I'd be glad to show you the ways of Athras, so you may feel, so you may better yourself and protect dragonkind someday with what you have learned. Would you take this great challenge? First, speak to quartermaster, to the quartermaster, to learn the ways of combat and strategy. He will also give you a rare gift of magical fire to learn the value of weaponry. Talk to Smithy Drawlin to learn the craft sword. To craft a sword using the fires of the city's great forge of the Forgotten. And to learn the ways of my lord's mystical flame, you must light this torch to show your teachers that I light your way. The quartermaster will also teach you to light this torch, which you must return to me. If you ask another to help to do it for you, I will know, and you will not want to feel my displeasure ring fire to your skin. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Speak with Corner Master Thaton. 
I'm getting there. Is he on the list? I see you carry the torch of the Red Lord on your person. As instructed, I will brief you in the ways of war. First, you must learn your opponent's form and know your, your weapons and magic feel against it. You may train in my hall to improve your skill if you choose. Then you must learn over many battles to anticipate your enemy's actions and be sure your reactions to them are true. Then and only then you will begin to understand the value of a calm and determined mind. Panic is death. Too quick to react is also death. Wits and foresight are all that will save you when you're faced with multiple dangers. Do you understand what I tell you? Good. I have no time to teach you all the things, but to rest assured that most of it is within you, raging to be set free. You must learn to unleash it. Ithecus may be may very well ask you to recall what I've taught you. Take this rare gift, a single flame of the Red Lord's breath. As I pass it to you, I bind it so that only you may use it. Take this box too. You will open the box of the Winged Lords and place the Red Lord's breath and torch into it and fasten it tightly. You will find that through a dragon's magic, when you open it, the torch will become lit and stay lit forever. To prove you listen fully, you must go destroy one of my training dummies if you can. Then make haste to the smithy. Okay, so it's probably another one of those things where I gotta take away the backpack to, to open the box. Put that inside. Oops, maybe these two. There we go. Alright. Destroy a training dummy. Are they in here? Aha! I was supposed to do this first, so... Oh. Alright! That was no problemo! Speak with Smithy Doron. Rowan. So I'm guessing he's in this the forge area. Smithy Drollin. Aha! There you are. Hello! Ah, I feel the power of Arthur's fire about you. I've had plenty of time to get my hammer familiar with weapons, and I can guide you on how to craft a simple blade. Take this mold, tin, and water. Go over to the Forge of the Forgotten and combine the items I gave you. Give it over to me when you are done, and I will inspect your work. Oh gosh, I hope I do a good job. <laughs> Work. It was a forge. 
understand, but it's hard. Okay, this just means I don't know the game. Alright, let's try this again. I actually did have the right items, but because I didn't put it on the right forge, it was considered wrong. So, there we go. I got it completed now. Alright, continuing on! Oh, just gotta give him the sword. There we go. Very well done. It would seem you are natural. Ithekas will be satisfied. Move along now. There might be more I could teach you, but now is not the time. Best if you return to Ithekas. He does not like to be kept waiting, especially by those who wish to gain his favor. Take this note to him. Oh, I did it! Finally! Woo! Okay. That took longer than necessary, but at least it's done. Ithacus! I have no need for this. You can have it back. Well, tch. fine. This day has surely brought me a surprise. To say I'm pleased would be greatly overstating my mood, but I will say you've done more than I first thought you could. You ought to wield the power of fire with pride as you stride into war, as you surely must. I now grant you the honor of addressing my father. While he may speak to you as you have my approval, how he will deal with you is your own choosing. You dare not be a fool around Athos, lest you get irreparably burned. <laughs> so it looks like I can now talk to At Athos. The dragon. 